So I'm going to go over how I drew my dog's eye here in color pencil. I used Prismacolor pencils on Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper, 100 pound. So I start with indigo blue and dark brown to mix my own black. And this way it gives you more control on the tone and the shade of the black. And it looks a little bit more realistic rather than using straight dark black. I did use some black in the end, uh, black pencil in the end. Um, once I had, could see my overall eye and see where I really wanted darker tones. Some artists don't choose to use black pencil at all, but it works for me. So do whatever works for you. And then I'm coloring the iris. I just picked out a bunch of colors that I saw um, that was in the reference photo. So you just look at the eye in your reference photo and usually there'll be a whole bunch of different colors. Um, I'll sometimes just hold up a pencil next to the reference photo to see if that color that I picked out matches. And then you can also um, experiment. Um, sometimes I mess up choosing the colors but I can always blend it out. And you could also test your colors on a separate piece of paper to see how it blends. Um, so I'm working on the reflection of the eye, so the white part. Um, he's looking up in the sky, so the sky, the blue of the sky and the clouds are reflected in that part. So I'm kind of adding those light blues and then whites in the clouds. And you'll notice, you'll see my finger kind of cleaning the tip of the pencil. So I, I do that and sometimes I, mostly I'll just kind of clean it off on a piece of clean paper because you don't want to pick up, you end up picking up color on those pencils and then you'll end up bringing color into like the white parts and messing up your picture if you do that. So just be sure to keep it clean. Um, the white part of the eye, it's never white, so I use like a light blue and cool gray, light gray, um, to color the white part of the eye and shade it that way. Um, going around the eye, doing the eyelid, it's like a little bit darker colors on there as well. Um, so I'm mixing a bunch of different colors to make that outside. And then you'll notice too I used a grid method for my drawing where you grid out your um, your picture, your reference photo, and then you draw the same grid on your paper and then use that to map out the picture. Um, that m help you a lot with accuracy and make sure that your proportions are correct. Even though I still kind of messed up on the proportions in this picture, I didn't notice until I started coloring in um, that one eye, the left eye is a lot bigger. It is slightly bigger in the reference photo, but I think I just made it worse, but that's okay, you know, I'm still learning. I'm very new to this. I haven't drawn in a really long time, so. Um, I also use the white pencil to blend out the edges because there shouldn't ever be really harsh lines, even like on the iris when it touches the white of the eye. It's kind of blended a little. Um, it's not like a clear harsh line, so I use it to kind of blur out the edges. Also in my reference photo, the left eye is a little actually blurred too, so I kind of, you'll see me kind of touch up on the edges or the, the eye on the other side, make it a little bit more blurred out. <clears throat> you'll notice the lighting in my video changes a lot because I have a kid and I can only draw when she's sleeping and sometimes she wakes up or I don't have enough time. You know, I just do it a few hours a day whenever she's sleeping. So this will change a lot. Um, so I'm looking at my, I, I'll do like other parts of the picture, like color in the rest of the fur, and then I'll see, okay, my eye needs to be darker. So I'll go back and do the eye. So I'm not even done with this piece yet. So this eye for this video might not even be the complete eye. Um, until I'm actually done with the whole piece because I'll probably go back and touch it up a lot. So that's always good You'll see me come in with the ruler and that's just me um, Trying to do measurements and like since the grid kind of got erased out. I just wanted to make sure um, I'm doing my proportions correct on this eye. So I kind of measure it sometimes <clears throat> Going back in with more color. So I'm not satisfied I did use um, two polychromos Faber Castell pencils in here because, you know, with all the different layering of the colors for the eye with the Prisma colors, it's really waxy and they it's a wax bloom um, where it gets built up and it's hard to. Um, there you saw I kind of laid the pencil down, so I used a gray, the 
polychromos pencils are oil based and they're harder so they layer a lot better so I was having trouble layering the black and the grays in the eye it would just kind of like pick up all the wax and push it around so I only needed it to be a little bit better application so I switched pencils there but I don't have a lot of colors in the uh, polychromos because it's a little bit more expensive so I don't have too many colors with that. So this is what I have so far with my color pencil drawing of my dog's eyes. Um, it does need a lot more work and I will refine it as I work on the piece more and when I finish the piece I will upload a tutorial on that so you can see the full um, completed piece. Um, I know I'm not that great at drawing and I do have a lot more to work on and making sure that everything has the right proportions and and the color and sh like the textures I have to work on that a lot I'm still learning a lot of this um, it's been so long since I've drawn like I said so I but I still wanted to just share um, what I've done and what helps me because I find videos online very useful for myself so I thought I should contribute to it would be fun to contribute in some way um, for something that I love to do so thank you very much for watching have a great day bye